Hi friends! Welcome to Stories of Aunt C. Today we're going to be reading this book all about elephants. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys some footage because Tio and I and some friends, when we were in Florida looking at the manatees, we also went to Disney World's Animal Kingdom. And they have a safari. So we went in the Jeep and we got to go see animals living out in the savanna and it was really cool. And we got to see some elephants. So I'll show you some of that footage at the end. And at the very end of the video, there's a very special message to a special birthday girl. Alright, so I want you guys to watch it all the way through. Alright, and this is about elephants. Are you ready? Let's go. It says animals in danger, elephants. Elephants are the world's largest living land animal. Nope, largest land living animal. That's what it says. Um, these clever animals can survive in many different habitats. From the open savannas of Africa to the forests of Asia, elephants can even survive in deserts. Desert elephants in Namibia, Africa can drink only once in three or four days. They are experts in searching for food over wide areas. Elephants have no natural predators or enemies, but life is becoming difficult for them. Here's an African elephant, and this one's an Asian elephant. They look a lot different because they're cousins. They're not siblings. There we go. African elephants are larger than Asian elephants. They live in Central and Southern Africa on open plains and dry deserts. And some of them live in forests. There are two different types of African elephants. African bush elephants and African forest elephants. Both are endangered, but forest elephants are at the highest risk of extinction. Which means they're all really close to not being around anymore. Being like dinosaurs and being extinct. Asian elephants live in many countries in Southeast Asia. Most Asian elephants live in forests, but they're also found in grasslands and in the mountain areas. Asian elephants are smaller than African elephants. They have smaller ears and tusks, but the females do not grow tusks at all. Asian elephants have been used for working animals for thousands of years. African elephants aren't traditionally used as working animals. So right here we can see there's an elephant and he is carrying a log and being ridden on. Female and young elephants live together in family herds. All of the adults in the herd help to look after the babies. The herds often join with others to make large groups called clans. Males leave their herds when they are about 13 years old. They live alone or in bachelor groups with other males. Female elephants are called cows, and they start to have calves when they are between 10 and 13 years old. Look, here's a baby calf. An elephant calf right there, the baby. There we go. Elephants feed on different types of plants, including grass, leaves, branches, fruit, tree bark, and even farm crops. They eat a huge amount each day and need a big area to forage for food. Each day, an elephant drinks around 50 gallons of water. Elephants are very clever at finding water. They can use their tusks to dig in the ground to find it. Their digging makes water holes that many other animals can use. So they dig really big holes. Oh, you see him eating right there. As elephant's trunk is an overgrown nose and lip, the fingers at the end of the trunk can tell whether an object is big, small, hot or cold, or what shape it is. Trunks are very useful for lifting food into an elephant's mouth or for sucking up water to pour into its mouth like a straw. Elephants often use their trunks like a shower to squirt water over their backs. Sometimes they blow dirt onto their backs for dust baths to keep their skin healthy and cool. So there's the little end of the trunk. These are the fingers, as it calls it. And then over here, we can see an elephant spraying dust on him. Tusks are very long teeth. If an elephant loses a tusk, it will be difficult for it to dig for water or roots to eat. 
Baby elephants get their first real tusks when they're about one year old. Before that, they grow tiny tusks about two inches long, and these are called milk tusks. Tusks are made of ivory, which is worth a lot of money. There's a big long tusk. Elephants have been used as working animals for thousands of years. They are sometimes captured from the wild to be trained for this. Asian elephants have been used to carry people and goods, lift heavy loads, pull carts, and even carry soldiers into war. Nowadays, many working elephants are no longer needed because their work is done by machines. In some countries, retired elephants have to live in sanctuaries or wildlife reserves because they wouldn't know how to look after themselves in the wild. Look, there's an elephant painting. Do you see that? I want to go see an elephant painting. African elephants are hunted for food and for their ivory tusks. Ivory is easy to carve, so in the past, it was used to make beautiful objects that were worth a lot of money. It is now against the law to buy or sell new objects made from ivory. Nowadays, elephants are protected and should not be hunted for ivory, but poachers ignore the laws and will still kill elephants for their tusks. So this says that game wardens have taken the tusks away from poachers and they burn them so they can't be sold. There's a lot of different elephants, huh? That's not very fun. There is also another danger to elephants. They are losing their habitat as it becomes farmland. Forest elephants are threatened by logging, which means when you chop down trees so you can have paper and firewood and housewood, all that stuff. Wildlife reserves can help give elephants a safe place to live, but they need huge areas to roam in and lots of food. If the reserves are too small, the elephants eat everything and there's not enough time for the plants to grow back. All right, so here it shows where elephants live. This is Africa and then Asia. They live in this part of Asia. You see that where the elephants live? There we go. All right, here's some facts. A Asian elephants are smaller than African elephants. You see that? There's a, looks like a grown person. So like a daddy sized or mommy sized person. There's an Asian elephant and there's the African elephant. So the African elephant's bigger, huh? Ooh, look, that one's swimming. And they use their trunk like a snorkel to go up above the water and breathe. Isn't that silly? All right, there's two main risks for elephants today. is poaching and habitat loss, which are both done by humans. So we're the ones that are making the elephants endangered. All right. Um... There's still a lot to do to save them from extinction, and there are fewer than 50,000 Asian elephants left in the whole world. It's not very many. It sounds like a lot, but it's not really. All right, wildlife conservationists are working hard to save the elephants. They protect elephant habitats by stopping people from being able to farm on the land that elephants live. They monitor their behaviors and track their behaviors and movements and track. Um, their movements and like locations, so they track them to see where they are to help them keep safe. And they help local people to live safely and peacefully alongside elephants. And protecting elephants from poachers and working to stop illegal ivory trade. There are some great animal conservation char charities and elephant sanctuaries that need money to pay for the work that they do. There are lots of fun ways that you can help raise money and awareness for them. All right, so this says we can do a bake sale, sponsor people who work with elephants, put on a school event about elephants. Those are cool. And then there's some of the words. All right. So that's a lot about elephants and how we can help them. And a way that we can help them in America, because we don't really live close to elephants, is we could use less wood, maybe, or we could... Um, maybe make some, have a big sum, give some money to elephants. Also, if we support the zoos, I know zoos have elephants in captivity, right? But zoos also help elephants not go extinct. So I know that I live in San Diego and the San Diego Zoo does a lot of work to help 
elephants and other animals not go extinct so they have breeding where they have little babies every spring to help grow the population so maybe you could go to a zoo and ask them about how they're helping the elephants too all right so i'm gonna switch it over to some of the videos that we saw when we were at disney's animal kingdom in the african safari all right so here we go off the safari car. We went on safari. Happy Happy birthday, birthday, Abigail! Tio Nancy, love you! Happy and Wapple says happy birthday too. <laughs> Here he is!